Welcome back to my pumpkin tutorial part three. This is the third and final step in our tutorial on how to make a pumpkin. In this step, we're going to paint our pumpkin. So the first part of this step is to apply our base coat. Our base coat is an exterior flat black paint. The reason we're using an exterior paint here is to add an extra layer of weather protection to our project. This is probably one of the most important steps in this project. This really helps to keep the rain and water out of your pumpkin. There's no magic to this step. All we need to do is simply take a paintbrush and paint the entire pumpkin inside and out black. That's it. Just make sure you cover the entire pumpkin. You don't want any spot on this pumpkin not painted black. You don't want a chance water intrusion anywhere on your project, especially if you plan on leaving this thing outside. Once our base coat is completely dried, it's time to move on to the next step, which is to dry brush white paint over the entire pumpkin inside and out. Now that our dry brush is complete and it's had time to dry, we're going to start adding color to our pumpkin. The first place to start is the inside. Now when you paint the inside of your pumpkin, you're going to want to use a bright color. This green in particular is called an apple orchard color. You want to use a brighter color so it reflects light much better at night when you have your pumpkin lit up. Once the inside is completely painted and done, we're going to move to the outside to start adding color to our pumpkin. First thing we're going to do is start with the stem. Now what we're using here is a watered down dark brown paint. This process is more like a tea stain and it makes the effect great because as you apply this watered down paint, it really only stains or tints the white areas of our dry brush that we did earlier. It really adds depth to our paint. Thank you. 
once we're done with the brown, we're going to apply our orange tint to our pumpkin. So the orange that I'm using here is a mixture of orange, brown, and water. I like my orange to have a little more of a dirty look to it versus just a bright orange. So in this step, you're simply going to take your orange color and cover your entire pumpkin all the way around. Once you've gone all the way around your pumpkin and applied your first layer of orange color, you may want to go back with your orange again and just kind of hit all the high areas. That just brings a little more brightness to the orange in all the high areas and helps create that extra depth to the paint. Once you've done this step and it's dried, you could really leave your pumpkin at this point and call it done. It has a great look to it and most of the time that's what I do. However, with this project, I was playing around a little bit more, wanting to try some new things. So I added a little bit of white to my brown watered down mixture to make a little bit of a lighter brown color. And then I went back over all the creases in the pumpkin and then over the stem one more time. Once again, I could have left it like this, but once it dried, I wasn't really quite happy. So I took it one step further, took a little bit of yellow paint, and then dry brushed that over all the high areas once again, just to add a little more highlights to add a little more depth to the paint job.
And there we go. This paint job is now complete. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first tutorial I put out on how to make a pumpkin. Hopefully you guys have learned maybe some new tricks. Uh, a lot of it's things that you guys might have already known, but hopefully you've picked up some new things along the way. And maybe there's things you can improve on, but uh, as long as you enjoyed it and learned something new, then we've got uh, more things accomplished. The only thing that I didn't film and didn't show you guys um, was the detail that I added here in the mouth and I did on the inside as well. When you get done with your pumpkin, there's any you can do anything you want to it to add, uh, add more depth and dimension. The last thing I did, this is just uh, spider webs that you buy from Walmart uh, in the bag. And all I did was mix a little uh, wood glue with some paint and then dip the spider web in the wood glue and paint mixture, let it soak up stuck it to the back side of the pumpkin in here, let it drape down, pulled some over, and then just let it dry. And that was the end of that. Then we had some extra funk going on inside the mouth. The last thing you guys didn't see, which I didn't really feel was important to show uh, how to do it anyway, is I've coated this all with a valve bar sealer, a deck varnish clear sealer, a uh, weatherproof sealer. Seal all this up once again. It's one more layer of protection for rain and weather. Uh, get that done, let it dry up, and then you should be able to set this thing out for the entire month of October. Hold up through any weather, any rain, all the props and things that I do and projects I do. Set out in October for an entire month. They go through rain. I've seen them go through hailstorms, all types of weather. Never had a problem with it. So if you follow the steps on sealing, should be able to put these things outside and enjoy them for the whole month of October and everybody else should be able to enjoy your artwork. Once again, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have learned something.